You are an opinion leader in the application of integrative medicine, and you work closely with some of the most respected specialists in the management of prostate and other cancers. Can you tell us a little about how integrative medicine is correlated with the traditional prostate cancer treatment at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center? At Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center, the integrative medicine service work together with urologists, medical oncologists, and radiation oncologists to help prostate cancer patients improve their quality of life and overall well-being. We work as a team and we communicate frequently to each other and formulate the plan and let each other know what the patient is going through. And by doing that, the patient can take the full advantage of integrative medicine without getting harmed by some of the alternative therapies that they may choose to do outside of the hospital. What are the priorities you would place on the prevention and management of prostate cancer? What are three of the four key things that a man at high risk or a man just diagnosed with prostate cancer should know about the application of integrative medicine to his care? For different types of patients, the approaches are different. For people with low risk disease, undergoing active surveillance, where they can make a number of lifestyle changes that may help improve their health. For people with high risk disease, undergoing active treatment, the priority is not to do anything that may interfere with the treatment and do something that will help reduce their side effects so that they can go through treatment in a better way. Many men use nutritional, herbal, and similar products in the management of prostate cancer. What are the critical things you think they need to understand when they start down this pathway? I think the most important thing people have to understand about natural products or dietary supplements is that, number one, natural does not mean they're harmless. They are, some of them are active biologically so that they can cause side effects as well as interaction with other drugs or medications. Number two, they need to work with someone who is knowledgeable about these things and also to let their primary treating doctors know. Otherwise, the bad effect may go undetected and may be harmed by those things. Number three, they have to keep in mind quality the quality of the products are always an issue with this unregulated industry, so they need to find reliable information about the claims so that they have a realistic understanding what these things can do and what they cannot. What should the average man in the street know about how to apply integrative medicine into his personal health care strategies today? For the average man on the street to know about integrative medicine, the first thing they have to be aware of is the availability of integrative medicine. Many academic medical centers, community clinics, they are increasingly making the service of integrative medicine available to the general public and the cancer patients. Number two, they need to work with trusting physicians. Uh, they need to work with the physicians they trust so that they can form a team and become a partner um, in their own self-care. Uh, number three, there are a lot of things patients can do for themselves that will help their treatment and make them live healthy and in general live well, not only as part of the cancer treatment, but for their overall health.